I think homecoming Scotland's been a great concept. Uh, I think uh, Alex Salmon, the First Minister, uh, made a good decision about really making a, a big deal about homecoming Scotland. It was to begin with to celebrate the, the life of Robert Burns, our great poet, um, 250-year anniversary of his birth. And now we've had other events tag on to that. And this of homecoming Scotland, so many people have been told that they should come back to Scotland. Our greatest export in the world is not Scotch whisky, it's people. And we have them in every corner of the world. They need to come back. But when they come back, they need to bring friends with them. Because when they see Scotland, the Western Highlands of Scotland must be one of the most beautiful parts of the world, the highlands and the islands. And there's so much more to see, you know, and the borders are beautiful and the, and the eastern seaboard is beautiful. Edinburgh is a fantastic city. So bringing the Scottish rally back to be part of the Intercontinental Rally Championship is a big thing for Scotland because it's been some years since we've had a major international rally in Scotland. We have some of the best forestry special stages for rallies that there are in the world. So that's going to be a good thing to be able to attract global attention to Scotland for this return to rallying because we've got so many successful rally drivers over the years. The late Colin McRae particularly was a world champion and his daddy won five British world... Uh, won five, his daddy won five British rally championships. So Scotland, you know, we produced cars in Scotland at one time. And there's four brands of Scottish cars. The, there's all these great teams like Acuria Course and Border Reavers. There's of the past. There's uh, a great lineup of drivers that drove for those teams, Jim Clark and Ron Flockhart and Ennis Island and, of course, Jim Clark and myself and David Coulthard and Alan McNish, who's won Le Mans and all sorts of other big things, Daria Frankitis, who's run the Indianapolis 500. I think Colin McRae would be really proud if he thought there was going to be an international rally back in Scotland, part of a, an intercontinental championship. And he was one of the great rally drivers of the world. So for him to be a Scotsman and to see this coming home, so to speak, in this year of homecoming would be great. Jim Clark uh, rallied in Scotland successfully um, and indeed did the, the British rally in Scotland and the World Championship event it was at the time. So I think these great names... Um, who are no longer with us, those two particularly, would be very proud that this is coming home. Scotland, uh, you know, they say if you just wait five minutes, you see all seasons, uh, because it does rain in Scotland. That's why it's got the beauty of the greenness that it has. That's why it's got such colourful heather. It doesn't happen because it's parched sun light that's doing it. We have sun. It's coming out normally of the Western Atlantic, the weather, but it's fresh. Uh, it's the changing light in Scotland is spectacular. Um, the Western Highlands are my favourite because the Highlands and the Islands, they're so rugged in parts and yet so beautiful. We've got some of the the greatest heritage in the world in respect to our castles where Mary's Queen of Scots had been. We've got palaces. We've got uh, a fantastic road system. Condition of our roads in Scotland are probably better than any other part of the British Isles. Uh, we've got ferries that go to all of those islands on a regular basis. Uh, it's really a beautiful country and it's, it's not well enough publicised, actually. It's a great discovery when you go to islands like Mull or Skye or Isla or all of those other ones, the Hebrides, Inners and Outer Hebrides, 
it, it's an amazing place. And we've got a capital in Edinburgh, which is magnificent. And Glasgow has changed. It's got architecture. It's got history. It was the second uh, richest city in the empire at one time. And Glasgow City Hall is opulence like you wouldn't believe because of our shipping, because of our shipbuilding on the River Clyde. The greatest ships in the world were built there. Uh, so we've got an amazing wee country with a remarkably small population, but very well educated. Some of the best universities in the world are in Scotland. St Andrews, more than 600 years. Edinburgh and Glasgow, over 550 years. Never mind all the others. We've got 13 universities in Scotland. And all of a very high standard producing education of a very high level. It's an amazing wee country. 